Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Today, we got some new mods to take a look at. For all platforms, we got five new, and for PC and Mac, we've got two new. If you like videos like this or just want to see more FS22 mods or news or anything in general, drop a like and make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Your first new mod for all platforms today is not the John Deere 1775NT or any of these. It's called seeding option see it on the right hand side of the screen right there this mod allows you to convert the fertilizer uh tank into a cedar tank so if you've got a uh, fertilizer already down on the ground well this will allow you to just put seed instead so everything that has the option for seed or fertilizer well you can turn that fertilizer option off uh, it's very nice one thing you need to deactivate the helper buy fertilizer in the menu whenever you're hiring a worker or it goes a little bit wonky furthermore because you can see stuff like this this was not available with fertilizer so why is it here well all cedars and planters in this pack can now be used for sowing without prior soil work aka the top this machine will as directly seed with no previous cultivating or plowing necessary so Things like this, the Amazon Saiten 15001C, which a lot of you have been wanting to use, but you haven't really been doing it because it doesn't direct drill. Well, now it will with this pack. Plus you can turn fertilizer inactive. There's a few things that are not in this pack. For example, if we go all the way to the end, we've got one of the Kinsey's, but not the other one. Because the other one didn't have fertilizer, at least to my knowledge. Plus it didn't have, or it already had direct drill. I think, actually, <laughs> we should probably check that real quick. So with that, all the way to the end, there, let's see, those are all seeding options. Oh man, we got a bunch of stuff now. Uh, so, oh, huh. I wonder why that's just not there. Well, regardless, uh, you got a lot of stuff here. This is gonna be a super, oh, it's right. Nope, that's not it. Anyway, this is a super useful mod. Go check it out. Gives you a bunch of seed and uh, takes away the fertilizer plus direct drill on all the goodies. If you are on console and you're curious about slot counts, uh, the Nordson is going to cost you seven slots. The K brand is going to be a total of 13 slots. Pottinger is going to be 21. The K brand Espresso, this is going to be 11 slots. Lemkin is 11. The Amazon is 18. The Agramaz is going to be eight slots. This Amazon right here, the Super, is going to be nine slots. The K brand is eight. 12 slots for the Limkin, five slots for the front part of that Limkin, 17 for the Vernland. For the Kinsey, you got 15 slots. The Vader stat is gonna be 18, and the John Deere is 12 slots. Next up, we have the Cody Garant pack from Vertex Design. This is going to be a pack of two slurry spreaders, and there's some different stuff with these. Both are seven slots, which is very nice for you guys on console, so you can just choose the one that you like, and you don't have to worry about uh, differences in slots. Let's start with this one, the Grant PT 16,000. 16,000 liters of slurry and digestate. It's going to be 150 horsepower. It's required at 10 mile per hour max working speed. As far as everything else, we've got the Gooseneck distributor. Uh, we've also got, which it doesn't say what the spread is on that. I think it's 30 meters. I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe it's just 10. I'm not sure over <laughs> there. We've also got the uh, 30 meter boom distributor. So that's going to be two on each side. And uh, we've also got a three point, so you could throw on some extra little goodies back there. Wheel Brands, we've got Trelleborg, BKT, Veridstein, Michelin, Midas. And then you got some different setups. Plus, for your main colors, you've got green, dark green, black, and silver. Your rim colors are silver, black, and red. It's going to be exactly the same customization for both of these. So, heads up there. The only difference is this has a total of 20,000 liter capacity, but all the same customization. If you're looking for a nifty bell fork for front loaders, we got you with the Duvelsdorf bell fork for all platforms. It's going to be 210 kilograms and two slots. There is zero customization and it does work on front loaders. Price, 780 bucks. Not too bad. If you're looking for an itty bitty weight, your next to last new mod for all platforms today may be the one for you. This is the 800 kilogram weight, aka the self-made weight. This bad boy right here is going to cost you 800 bucks. So it's a dollar per kilogram, hooks up via three point, no customization. Would have been nice to see some customization to be fair. And your last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the farmhouse right here. It's gonna cost you 120 grand. It's gonna be nine slots for you guys on consoles. As you can see, it is very nice. It reminds me a lot of the farmhouse at the top part of the map, but this one is actually 
usable, which is pretty darn cool. You can come up here, get your sleep on, do what you want to do. But otherwise, that is about it. If you want to find it, go into your building mode. You want to go to buildings, farmhouses, and then you got your house. Making our way into mods for PC and Mac players today. We got two of them. The Lizard WMXL from only Christy is going to be your first one here. Uh, this is a lime and fertilizer spreader, as you can see right here. It's going to hold 4,500 liters, 800 kilograms empty, 42 meter spread at 15 miles per hour. Main color. Well, here you go. You got your main color through there. And uh, I don't know, let's just change it up to like a black. Yeah, that'll be good. And then our design color on the top, we'll make that green. So there you are. Uh, not a whole lot else to this. And again, it is for PC and Mac players only. It's your last mod today. New one for PC and Mac players is going to be the measure tool. This mod will measure the distance between a fixed point, which you can specify with Alt plus the right click, and your current location. So there you go. This is going to be super, super helpful for you guys that are doing logging that need some very precise measurements. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today's new mod video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I've already made today's new or uh, news video, so make sure you guys check out farm sim news from today if you haven't already i'll make sure that that is linked at the top of the uh description or in the first pin comment somewhere around there also uh, we got a let's play coming out later today so stay tuned i'll be said hope you have a great day we'll see you later peace